Hello YouTube and fellow knife enthusiast. Today, today we have a Ontario Knife Company. And this is going to be the Ontario Wrap Model 1. Now, I just couldn't pass this up on Amazon. Amazon right now, you can pick this up for $24. Like, are you kidding me? 24 bucks. So, when I first started wanting to make knife review videos, I wanted a Ontario Wrap Model 1 and Model 2 to use for just like size comparisons. So, I picked these two up off of uh, eBay used. Uh, I got them both for a little bit more than what one of them would have cost me. But this one has a line in the blade, and it's always bothered me, especially for like a size comparison video. I, I don't know. Maybe I'll try to like etch this blade or like do something with it. Uh, it's only on one side, so it must have been off-centered for a long time, whoever owned it before. Or I almost feel like they might have carried this in their back pocket. And they might have sat on it. And it bent one of the sides in. Still has amazing action. But for $24, I mean, this is usually, I think, like $32. Bucks. So for $24, I couldn't pass up an opportunity to pick up another one. And this one has a pocket clip. Uh, this one originally had the pocket clip, but I took it off and I put it on the Rat Model 2, which is uh, a lot smaller. I actually compare the Rat Model 2 over the Rat 1. The Rat 1 is a large, full size knife. I'm pretty sure it's on washers. You see the Rat 2 comes in at about 7 inches. Where the Rat 1. Is going to come at about 8.5. But it does feel really good in the hands. Absolutely love the blade shape. Flat grind all the way up. The thumb studs work awesome for the spidey flick or for the thumb flick. Not quite drop shut, but I think it will break in. Uh, see, this one's definitely more broke in. That was my fault there. I was completely hitting the thumb stud wrong. Uh, looking through a camera. It just kind of throws you off sometimes, but definitely think they're on washers. I don't think I've ever taken one apart or needed to. It's made in Taiwan. Got the OS 8 still. Not quite a deep carry pocket clip. They give you a little something to grab onto hanging out of the pocket, but nothing too Jurassic or nothing. I mean, it's that's not bad at all. Have that little bit sticking up out of your pocket to grab onto. Got G10 handles. Feels really good. Now, uh, alternative to the Ontario Rat 1 would be the Gonzo. Pretty much same exact blade shape size. Complete and direct ripoff of the Ontario Rat. But they throw an axis lock in there. <laughs> 
And to me personally, the access lock just adds that much more fidgetability and fun factor to it and ease of usement. Like, I don't know. It just... Gonzo freaking nailed it when they freaking uh, stole these designs. And legally, I think they can use the access lock now. And this one's a little loose. Let me tighten it up. It's got different random bit holders I use. This one's actually a Kirkshaw. Uh, highly, highly recommend this. This is really good for like your EDC pouch or throw in your book bag or something like that. Uh, all the bits store in the handle. But it comes with all the different size bits. I have T6 in that one. T8 in this one. If you watch my Gonzo video yesterday, uh, some of these were loose. That's why I grabbed my tools. But the Gonzo is on uh, ball bearings. Unlike the Ontario Rat. And if you were wondering, this is a Gonzo model. Seven twenty seven M. And the Gonzo is in four uh, forty C. I was thinking it was in D2. A lot of Gonzos are in D2. And then the Gonzo even has a smaller variation, which this one has had a lot, a lot of pocket time with me. I've carried this one a ton in my pocket. And uh, this is going to be the FB. 727s so s for small and uh has a really good feel in the hand absolutely amazing action on this thing as you can see it's pretty comparable to the rat model 2 it's actually a hair bigger which i prefer i think the rat model 2 is just a hair small if you look at it lined up there and it definitely feels small in the hand. To me, the Rat Model 2 is just a little too small. They really needed one just a hair bigger, I think. And uh, I definitely think Gonzo nailed it. But yeah, I uh, just had to make a quick video on the Rat Model one i'm sure it's been a long time since somebody's made a video on it on youtube but for some reason they're on sale right now for 24 dollars. so if you need a really heavy use knife where uh i mean i think you could get a lot of use out of this knife for a long time feels really solid uh the gonzo it's about the same price might be a little cheaper but uh, the access lock, it could break. I mean, that lock could break. One of them springs could break. Uh, so, with this one, you don't have none of that to worry about. Uh, I'm not sure if it has bearings or washers. But if it has washers, washers are more reliable than bearings. They're going to last longer. So, I uh, hear, like... Uh, But And no, I did not cut my finger on a knife, but I did cut my finger sharpening a knife. 
I cut it on the uh, sharpening stone. The edge of the sharpening stone was really sharp and it caught my finger. I ran my finger up it. Man, it sliced it just like a knife. It bled pretty good, but... And it kind of sucks because uh, that's my thumb flicking finger. And I forgot when I woke up this morning, uh, I got a new knife from Amazon and I forgot about my finger and it was a, it was a thumb flicker or a finger flicker. And when I flicked it, uh, I tore that open and it started bleeding again and almost got blood on my new knife, but I didn't. which is a Sativian, which I'll be doing a video on. Absolutely amazing Spidey Flick. Absolutely amazing drop shot action. Micarta handle. But these are only about 27 bucks. So... Maybe they lowered their price on these to try and compete with these, like Sativian, and uh, there's a bunch of brands that fall right under the category of Sativian now, right around 25 30 bucks, where you can get them with ball bearings, Micarta handles, D2, which I think D2 is a way better steel than 440C. absolutely amazing spidey flick with this this groove is just perfect i'll be doing a video on this soon but that's what i have in my pocket today and... but a lot of people have the ontario rat or maybe had one at one time they've been out for quite a while so i think it makes a good size comparison video uh, this one, I'm not sure if these are like aftermarket scales or the scales it came with and somebody did that to it or I have no idea. But let me know down in the comments what you think. If you have a Ontario Rad, if you've carried one in your pocket for years, let me know down in the comments. Uh... Make sure to like, subscribe, and have an awesome day.